queens and welcome back it is queen esther of queen she me and i know you guys are like girl what is going on yes this is literally like my uniform monday through friday for school and we wear black scrubs so yes i'm coming to you early this morning early this morning with a comparison review and i am going to be comparing the lot of body and cream of nature curl activator creams and i thought this would be a fun video because i'm always raving about this one and i had seen this one from lot of body a while back but i had yet to get around to getting my hands on it to try it out and i just messed up last week went to the hair store saw that they had it purchased it and decided to try it so before we go any further in today's review please make sure that you are subscribed down below and so what i did as you guys can tell is that i went on ahead and i did flat twists on each side so i have a total of eight flat twists total so on one side i use cream of nature and on the other side i use lot of body okay so what i'm going to do is just go over each product and i'm going to show you guys pretty much how it worked and what i thought about it on my particular hair type if you guys are not aware my particular hair type is is 3C4A um, and I am now of a medium to low porosity when it comes to my hair porosity specifically. So like I stated this is a comparison review of the Cream of Nature Curl Activator Cream and then this one from Lotta Body is the Activate Me Curl Activator. So pretty much they're both curl activators just a little bit different in their titles and yeah so the Lotta Body this one says that it moisturizes and defines curls, refreshes curls and coils tames frizz and adds shine and of course contains no sulfates and no silicone and i love lot of body i love their foaming mousse as really and truly one of my favorites from them as well as the um curl me style milk and i think i messed that name up i always do but you guys know the hair milk that's a part of their collection i really do love that product so um i like the way that this one smells and of course you guys know i love this one from cream of nature i have a full thorough review of this product um, from last August. I will leave a link down below and I also will have a link for you guys up above in a card. But this one states here it moisturizes, activates, and defines curls with exotic shine and of course Cream of Nature never contains sulfate, silicone, mineral oil, and petroleum never in their products okay and of course this is from the argon oil from morocco collection oh, favorite collection from them um as well as the mango and shea butter one dope as well okay you guys so before i start the take down you know i always specify that if you're going to use an oil try to use an oil that is actually inside of the products that you use to set and style your hair so that we don't have any conflicts or any kind of you know change in your um takedown because it does make a big difference so this one is the jamaican mango and lime pure naturals shea oil styling serum i love this freaking product you guys so let's get into this takedown
all right you guys so this is it this is the final results now you guys know I already know what side is which so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys which side is which okay so my left your right this is the lot of body curl activator cream my right your left this is my cream of nature curl activator cream okay so a lot of body cream of nature so um, and i intentionally did that for my sake to remember that left is a lot of body and then cream of nature could just be right <laughs> so yeah because i didn't want to come on here and then totally get confused with my own review for you guys so yes i am satisfied with my results honestly I have to say that I can definitely tell the difference with the product on my hair. So if using the Cream of Nature Curl Activator Cream on my right side, your left, um, I could tell the difference. This product is a little bit heavier than a lot of body as I suspected earlier in this review and that is okay. Um, what I like about the Cream of Nature Curl Activator Cream is that it is dope for providing the definition that you are definitely looking for. So if you have problems with living somewhere like I do that is totally always humid, you know, or it's always some moisture in the air. So naturally you're having to worry about frizz and trying to tame that frizz. This is that product for you. So I like this, that the fact that it does give a little bit more hold, a little bit more weight to the hair. And I know that this side is not necessarily going to, you know, frizz up as quickly. Now I have to say that in the back for whatever reason my twists were like still like not fully dry after over 24 hours so i'm not sure what that was about maybe because i was sleeping on the back of my head and i usually don't do that. that so just make sure that your hair is fully 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 dry i again have a full thorough review of using this product on my channel here and i'll leave that video specifically linked down below for you guys to check out but i love this product i love the scent of course i love anything that smells good and that is a biggie for me consistency is key and they always make sure that they are hitting that point when it comes to cream of nature and their curl activator cream and their products in general so now moving on to the lot of body curl activator cream because as you can see my hair is a little bit more shrunken up on this side and my hair usually hangs a little bit more on this side than my right side so I noticed the difference in that and the reason why is because this product is a lot lighter which means that it does give hold but it's like a softer hold. It provides a lot of moisture to your hair to make sure that your hair is moisturized throughout the week. So sometimes when you use moisturizing products specifically especially like coconut oil and shea oils they definitely will you know kind of help add that moisture back to your hair throughout the week so i noticed that my hair is soft it's a little bit lighter on this side compared to the cream of nature side because as you can see it just boom falls back down but this one's a little bit more light as you can see and it feels lighter and it sounds lighter if you ever listen to your hair after you apply a product you can tell too whether a product is like drying your hair if it's too heavy or if it created some kind of product buildup it's crazy to where you can really start to understand your natural hair if you just take the time and pay attention. So I love this product, you guys. I would really, I'm looking forward to using this for the fall, honestly, and that's really why I purchased this one to compare a this one from Cream of Nature because I've used this one from summer to fall to spring the whole nines and so this is new for me and I wanted to try something new so again I like this one more so if you're looking for like something that's going to give you like a lot of definition like super duper duper hole and this is just going to give you your normal hole but yet you're going to make sure you have moisture not saying that cream of nature doesn't do that but you can tell that with having the shea oil in here and necessarily not the shea butter because I think cream of nature's products all of them pretty much contain shea so yeah, so this is the shea butter and this is the shea oil. And oils act differently than butters and that is true because I use my own DIY butter and it acts completely different when I use it on my hair versus my skin, which is, I mean, you know, a drastic comparison because I mean skin and hair, but still you can notice the difference in how the oils act with your skin and how the oils and butters act with your hair as well. So just pay close attention to that again as to the products that you're using on your hair i love this one from cream of, i mean i'm sorry i love this one from lot of body and this one was 3.99 at my local hair store and lot of body has always been inexpensive i love the brand they have something for everybody and i've used a good 
you know, a bit of their products. I've used about three or four of their products from their collection, and I have been satisfied, including the edge gel as well. Again, it gives a light hold, but it does slick down your edges. So, again, if you want mild to, you know, super hold, get this one. I would say moderate to super hold with this one. And then if you want, like, a definite hold on fully dry hair, this is going to give you your definition, definitely. And you're going to get moisture as well. So, let me know which one you guys like down in the comments. I have to say again, I really did enjoy using this one more so than this one. And it's probably just because the weather is changing and my knees are changing for my natural hair. So make sure that you guys make sure that you guys are paying attention to the needs of your natural hair as well, queens. Make sure that you have a very good fall regimen. Um, I have changed mine up a little bit and I really don't use a whole lot on my hair. I keep it very basic now. And I might come to you guys with an updated wash day routine. I think it's needed so that way you guys can see actually what I do differently now compared to how I was washing my hair almost four years ago when I started this natural hair journey. Alright you guys, so thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that you are subscribed down below. Make sure that you are part of Notification Game Queens and I will see you guys in my next upload. Mwah! Bye you guys.